Hey, what's going on guys, CBCS just sent me the brand new holder in the mail. We're gonna review the old one with the new one and it's coming up. Hey, what's going on guys, it's Brian Simmons Comics. So I got a quick video for you guys today. CBCS Comic Book Certification Service was nice enough to send me samples of their old holder and their new holder. That new holder is getting ready to come out and premiere July 1st. 2020 so we're going to do a quick review of the old one with the new one and if you're not familiar with cbcs they do a lot of comic book grading they are owned by beckett media and they're a very reputable company to send comics in to have a third party grade that comic for condition also encapsulate it in plastic so it's a collectible that will be archived to help make that collectible preserve its condition now you do have to send those in it's not a lifelong preservation after a while you should send those in to be reholdered but either way we're going to talk about those holders in this video so we're going to talk about the old holder which i have in my hand right now so the amazing fantasy number 15. never thought i'd own a 98 amazing fantasy 15. of course this is the reprint but either way or facsimile edition if you want to be technical so the old holder here it's what people are known for if you were to look at the new holder just in the video real quick you probably like, oh, there's not much difference, but we're going to get into that in just a second. So one of the biggest complaints that I always see on, on social media, Instagram posts, or people thinking, hey, my comic book wasn't graded correctly, wasn't encapsulated correctly, is the old holder would have um, breathing room so the sides weren't sealed all the way, and people would think that the cases just weren't closed properly, Well, that wasn't the case. The old holder also has four tabs, two on the top, two on the bottom, that you could use to crack the case open if you wanted to get the book signed or uh, maybe pressed again later and then resubmitted to get grading. But the new holder, I'm liking the new holder because right away the first thing that comes to mind is it's a little bit heftier. It's a little bit thicker. There's a little bit slightest weight difference, but you can definitely tell holding an old one and a new one in your hand that, hey, there's some heft behind this. It's, it's got some oomph, if you could say. Um, I like the inner well. Inner well is almost pretty much the same. Um, there's a little bit more aesthetics, if you can look at, if you could say so. A um, little bit more rounded corners instead of straight corners. Also, there's no longer that gap in the side that I was just talking about, where people often complain, hey, it's not closed properly. Well, you don't get that with these cases. And they no longer have the four case, the four notches on the top. And to make up for the sides being openable or slight, you know, not completely sealed, they have two notches on the bottom that serve for two purposes. If you still wanted to crack the slab open, you could put a screwdriver in there. It is anti-tamper evident, so if you do it and you try to be sneaky about it, there's no way you're going to get through with that. Um, they do have anti-tamper. But if you wanted to crack it open, get it pressed, get it signed, resubmit it, or if you just didn't want to grade it anymore and want to put it back in your collection, you could do it that way as well. One thing I do like about CBCS is they don't use that chamber paper that a lot of other grading companies use. And with that being said, without doing that, you don't get those what they call Newton rings in the cases. Um, sometimes if you get a grading, if you get a book graded from another company, you can look at it and it looks like there's like, um, a lot of people say like oil slick or like a little prism effect, like a uh, almost like baby oil was in there, but that's those Newton rings that we're talking about. So also, Something with the old case and the new case is the old case. It was a three part label. It was a top, uh, a front, there was a top and a back. While with the new one, it's all one label and it basically wraps around over the top. Um, I like that better, but the way they used to do with the old one also is now the top label is inside the case. They used to have a sticker. Uh, between this and other graded copies, they used to have a sticker on the top. And if you store your graded copies in, say, like a, a long box or one of the plastic storage bins that a lot of people are using now, so you can just look at the top and see what the comics they were, that sticker would come off and you wouldn't know what you had and you'd have to pick them up. No longer the case. And I do like the full wraparound label on the new case as well. So my personal opinion, what I like about the new case is I definitely like the thickness, a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, a little bit more sturdier. That sticks out to me. And I do like how the sides no longer open up, yet you do have that, the breathing holes in there that also serve for the purpose of cracking the case. Um, Wraparound cover. And one thing always is CBCS always takes full advantage of the back label. They put um, info on the back and a QR code 
CBCS always offers free grading notes, even if it's a book that you haven't submitted. So you go on uh, cbcscomics.com site and check out grading notes. Another thing you've also heard us talk about on this channel is we've talked about those red verified labels from CBCS. They have that verification program where you could take a signature or a signed book that hasn't been witnessed, send it in to CBCS, they verify the signature, and then they encapsulate it with a red label. That is no longer going to be a red label soon. They're getting ready to go to all yellow labels for witness and verified. So I think that's a good change as well. But there's my review for this new holder versus the old holder. I really like it. I'm going to send some books in here. Once again, those holders take effect July 1st. So anything submitted after July 1st, you get the new holder. And if you want to save 10% on standard grading, we do have a coupon code for Superman's Comics. I'll put that in the description and I'll show it up on the screen here right now. You just write that on the top of your submission form when you send your comics into CBCS for grading. And real quick, let us know in the comments, are you submitting comics to CBCS? What do you think of their current holder? Is the new holder something you're willing to try out? I'd love to hear from you guys. Superman's Comics, one great community. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.